What is up TCG Army, c and TCG here. Welcome back to another video. Before we get started today, I have to say a little bit. I'm sorry that I've been uh, kind of AFK away for about two weeks now. Uh, I'm taking a little bit of a break. Got a little bit burnt out there for a little bit. I haven't taken a break since I started this channel. Uh, and also work just got, work and life got really, really, really insane there for about two weeks. So I took a little bit of a breather, a little bit of a break. Uh, but we are back. I'm back to kind of trying to get back on my regular schedule and I'm gonna I've got a fun one for you today we're gonna be cracking op open uh, the sword and shield the big master elite trainer box collection thingy that's got 16 packs and the golden doggos in it this has been sealed on my shelf since like December now and I wasn't really planning on opening it but uh I figured you know what let's come back with a big fun video of a harder to get product that we haven't opened before on the channel uh hopefully we'll have returns this weekend i did they were supposed to be last weekend but beckett is taking way way longer than they were supposed to uh, with my returns even with express shipping so uh they're supposed to be back in two weeks it's now been a month and i still don't have my shiny zard back so uh hopefully we will have returns this weekend but i'm not positive honestly at this point so, uh, <coughs> sorry uh bad cough uh, so we'll see on that but uh if you are new here my name's colin please hit that sub button the like button all those things i can't even remember how to do a video anymore it's been like two weeks but let's get started um it's a big fancy collection box like I, said, I wasn't really planning on opening this at all but uh i wanted to come back with a fun video for you guys so uh no turning back now let's open this thing uh i've seen people open this and it's either been really 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 good or really 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 bad this does retail for $100 if you can find it. I don't know if they're selling them anymore or not. It was kind of a short uh, run type of thing. Very cool box, though. A very, very cool box that we're going to open up today. Try to preserve some of this because this thing is really cool. I think it is a Velcro. Hold on. On the front here. Hold on a second. Is it? Or how does this thing open? Does it slide out? Man, this thing is intense. Hold on a second here. I can't tell if it's supposed to like pull. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Okay, so I don't need to open it this way. I need to open it this way. Okay, I'm about to tear this thing apart. That would have been bad. Okay, so you open it here. Very cool. It's very, man, this does feel like a premium product. It really does. Okay, so then you open it here. This is pretty sweet, actually. Uh, you may be able to tell better from uh, this way. So you open it like this. Got your Zashin and Zamazenta things here. Yeah, this does feel like a premium. Okay, I apologize. I don't know what happened in my settings there. Everything kind of reset there for a second. But we are back. So you pull these out and you have these little drawer things. Here's my Zamazenta promo that is horribly, horribly, horribly off-centered left to right, which is super disappointing. We'll check that here in a minute. Got your sleeves. Um, this has my Vivid Voltage packs in it. Okay, so here's my Zamazenta sleeves. Kind of cool. Get this metal... Zamazenta coin, which is pretty sweet, which actually fell out of this plastic, I believe, which is okay. Um, here are our four vivid voltage packs that come with it, so we'll have to see where everything else is. Um, some cool deck divider things, so we'll keep that kind of in there like that. I'll probably keep this coin in here, put this back in this box. Let's see what's in the middle here. Okay, more packs. So this is the die, very heavy duty metal die here and damage counters these are like metal plated this stuff has opened up a little bit because this die fell out of this package um which is a little unfortunate i think i lost a coin in there too is what it looks like or something um here are these metal die as well um let's see here then what packs do we have here oh yeah so some of the dice fell out here they were missing in my thing they fell out in here Interesting. Darkness Blaze, four of those. Four Rebel Clash. Rebel Trash, if you will. Okay, so we'll put these back in here. Don't really care too much about those, but I'll save them. Um, put that in there. Here in this one, we have our Zamazenta sleeves. Very cool. I actually really like those sleeves a lot. Um, we have our uh, four Sword and Shield packs. And then our... Uh, Zamazenta coin that came out of the uh, package as well. Things have kind of moved around in this thing. What else do we have in this box? It looks like something up here. Looks like this is our player's guide. And this looks very much like a standard ETB thing that you get out of there. This thing does really feel pretty cool. There... I don't think so. Is this all our packs? One, two, 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then there's one more. 16. So 16 total packs in this thing all together. I will hang on to these sleeves. Those are super cool. Uh, where did our Zoshin... Wait, hold on. Did we not get a Zoshin promo? We didn't get a Zoshin promo. It shorted us a promo card. It seriously shorted us a promo card. Unless they're both in here. I don't think they are. I think that's just the Zamazenta. Well, that's a factory error. That's highly unfortunate. It shorted us our uh, Zoshin card. Awesome. That is unbelievably frustrating that it straight up shorted us our card. Unless it's... No, it's not in here. It shorted us our Zoshin card. Freaking awesome. Okay. Thanks, Pokemon Company, and your terrible quality control. Straight up, it just didn't give us our other promo card. It's not in here anywhere. Nope, it is straight up shorted us. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, nope, it's getting destroyed underneath. Okay. I'm pretty sure it just got destroyed. So they didn't short us, but it definitely got beat up. Because it was tucked underneath. Okay. We'll take a look at it. So they didn't short us. It was... It got all moved around and stuff in transit, I guess, and was tucked under there. Okay, well, we'll check that out, I guess. This thing does, like, this is a pretty cool product. Let's check our promos um, that are, let me get some scissors here. I'm interested to see if the Zoshin is beat up, because it was, uh, it was moving around, getting destroyed, kind of. Let's zoom in a little bit here. Um, gosh, this thing looks really cool. This one's actually well centered. Did it get beat up? The back is a little off centered. It didn't really get too beat up, surprisingly. A little bit of corner wear, but that's not bad, all things considered, honestly. That's not terrible. I'm actually kind of shocked that that isn't like, just straight up terrible with how it was like being held in there. Uh, that's actually shocking to me. Okay, well, I'll take that. That one doesn't look that bad, surprisingly. The Zamazenta is horribly off-centered. Like, it's really, really, really bad. Um, you can see there's a whole bunch more over here than on the right. The back is off-centered pretty bad as well, but no whitening. No whitening, but the back's pretty off-centered as well. But still cool cards. I'm going to... I'll probably grade these just to have them. They're still very cool promos. That's just like the uh, Eternatus cards in Shining Fates. But these came first, actually. So there we go. There are those. I'm actually, uh, at least the Zoshin wasn't lost like it appeared. So we'll go in order here. Uh, let's put, we'll do Sword and Shield Base. Then we'll do Rebel Trash. Then we'll do Darkness of Blaze. Then Vivid Voltage. That's kind of the order we will go in today. Not running over a dog behind me. So uh, let's see how we do, man. It, we haven't done... Uh, it's been a while since I've actually done a personal opening. I The last video that went up for me was that Shining uh, Fates Elite Trainer Box. And I actually did that a long time ago for myself. So it, uh, it's been a little bit since I have done a personal video for my opening for myself. So let's see what we can pull here. Said I really haven't opened up Sword and Shield Base in a really long time as well. Uh, Energy Revival and a Dreadnought. Nothing crazy going on there whatsoever. But yeah, Sword and Shield Base, man, it has been a very long time since I have done this particular set at all. So this should be interesting. Nice little green code. Man, we went hard on Sword and Shield Base. Uh, with the channel for a while there and then I pulled the both doggos and I didn't open it at all since then Played all and a dramp all it was not my favorite set. However, I did like it more than I liked rebel trash So I will say that But hopefully we can get something cool out of it here today. I said it was not my favorite set But it was definitely better than rebel clash that that is 100% of things. So Let's see if it will give us anything resilia and a red rock, so nothing too exciting there. A little two dollar ultra rare, but uh, at least it's a hit. Like I said, these 
packs of, or these boxes, like when I've seen people open them, it's either been really awesome, like they've just gotten hit after hit after hit, or they've gotten nothing and they felt like they wasted a hundred dollars. So that that that's about how it went for most people. But uh, we'll, we'll see if we can, you know, have a little bit better luck than some that I've seen. Snom, Grookey, Shelter, Machino, a Hollow Ranguru. So nothing crazy at all out of the Sword and Shield packs. We are on to Rebel Clash. All right, I'm gonna do a quick cut and straight fix my camera a little bit. All right, here we go. A little bit better. I had to move my camera down just a tad. We are back in business here. All right, so this is Rebel Trash, literally my least favorite Sword and Shield set to date. By a mile, like it's not even remotely close. I do not like Rebel Clash in the least bit, but we get four of them today. A Scizor. Nothing too crazy at all there. Uh, I really hope that this box, like I was, I really wanted to keep it sealed, but I was like, you know what? I want to do something fun for coming back. I really hope I don't regret it, so... Really, really, really hope I don't regret this, but uh, so far it's not looking wonderful. We'll see. Double. Ugh. As if we don't have a ton of double with all the Champions Path op openings we did. So, uh, not too exciting. A little $2 Ultra Rare there. Uh, the Vivid Voltage is the packs I'm really looking forward to. Maybe we get a Zard out of Darkness and Blaze, but the Vivid Voltage is what... We're aiming to get the really big pulls out of like a Chunkers or something like that. But uh, I said, for $100, you really, really want to see some good pulls out of the packs. Now, it, all, it is all just risk. I mean, you know that going into an opening. That is all risk that you're putting into this. It's a gamble. But as I said, this product is $100. You are paying extra for, you know, this all the sleeves, the metal counters, all that. But they did try to make this feel like a premium product. Um, but twin energy and a Cinderace V Max. There, at least we got a V Max card. Would have been nice if it was, it was the rainbow, but it is just a V Max card. But there we go, Cinderace v, v Max. Get your little starter. At least we got that going for us there. Nice little V Max pull. All right, on to Darkness Ablaze. Done with the Rebel Trash. Hopefully, we'll get a Zard. If we get a Zard, it would really make this just. It, it would make me, like, it literally pays for the box. So if you get a, you know, Darkness of Blaze Zard or a, a Chunk of Chew, a Full Art, Pikachu, V, something like that, it makes this whole thing worth it. But, uh, let's see here. Trap Inch, a Crobat. So not bad. Down to about $5 now that's been reprinted in Shining Fates. This was like a $20 Ultra Rare at one point for how playable it is in the game. But, uh, probably that's still the best Ultra Rare you can pull out of Darkness of Blaze. Said, oh, if we could pull a freaking VMAX Zard, that would be unbelievable. That would be absolutely incredible. Not holding my breath, though, out of four packs. Trap Inch, we got Teddy Ursa, Panseer, Morlul, Reverse DNA, and a non hollow Lugia. Regular rare. All right. Two more Darkness, and then we get on to the Vivid Voltage. But I hope you guys are enjoying this. Please hit that like button. That helps. It really helps promote this video, especially with a hundred dollar box. It really does help out the channel. Hitting that like button, subscribe if you are new. So hopefully we'll have some fun returns for you. I have a big mail day as well coming up. A very expensive mail day that I'm pretty excited about. Uh, it is kind of sports related, but it, it it's a really fun one with some cool stuff. Um, I said, then of course the Beckett returns, I may combine the mail day and the Beckett returns. I'm not positive yet. Um, we'll kind of see what I want to do there, but I really want the Beckett returns to come back soon. Cause, uh, you pay like 160 bucks for two weeks and it's been a month now. So we are down to our final four packs of vivid voltage here. Let's see. I said chunkers or bus, man. We got to make this opening a little bit more. You get a little bit more out of these vivid voltage packs to make opening this thing worth it here. So we really need vivid voltage to come through. The Chunkers has eluded us as well as that full art Pikachu V that has eluded us as well. And the rainbow Nessa we've really like, we've gotten eluded by vivid, the big vivid voltage hits. 
So Rainbow Nessa, Rainbow Pikachu, or Full Art Pikachu V is what we're aiming for here. That's really what we want to see here. Amazing Rare Rayquaza, but we have a ton of them. Trubbish, Shuppet, Tailo, Holographic Whale Lord. All right. Two packs to go, man. Not looking super promising for this box, unfortunately. <laughs> Not looking super promising, but let's see here. Two packs to go to make this worthwhile here. Code card. All right. Please give us an amazing rare of our vivid pack. Strober, Oshawott, Duskull, Hitman on top, and a fortress. So one pack left for some last pack magic. So out of our hundred dollar box so far, we have a Cinderace, a Crobat, a Double, and a Red Rock. So these are both two dollars. I imagine this is like two or three, maybe three. This is about five bucks. So uh, these you're getting about twenty dollars a piece for. So that does make up some of the value. Of it. But, uh, so these do make up some of the value, but uh, not enough for the $100. So one final pack here. One final pack to turn this thing around. All right. Really need something to come out of this pack here. There we go. All right, here we go. Last pack magic. Can we pull a Chunkers? We have some kind of a hit. I don't know. I think it may just be a two dollar ultra rare, but let's see here. Execute, woo bat. Come on, baby. Chop it. Ugh, Pikachu V. It's taunting us what could have been. It's taunting us with what could have been. That's rough. That's rough, but it's still a fun box. Oh, I'm sorry that I'm sleepy, guys. I'm recording this late. You still get these really freaking sweet sleeves and they're gold. These really do feel like really premium sleeves, which is fun. Man, best things coming out of these are the promos. This Zacian has a chance at a 10. I'm really hoping that can pull it in. It's still a little off-centered on the front. Zamazenta is like a guaranteed nine. Like it, it's pretty off-centered, pretty bad. Um, Zacian has a chance. It's still, these may be sequential nines, unfortunately, but we're gonna give them a try. We're gonna grade them. Uh, I did pull this in Japanese, a uh, shiny star V, which is fun. Uh, we do have a shiny star V box opening coming pretty soon as well, which I'm very excited about. Got one of this from mini Pokemon on the way. So that should be a fun opening coming up. But uh, as far as everything else goes, man, like we're uh, we're waiting on returns, basically. I've got a giant, like the biggest PSA return you could possibly ask for coming soon, hopefully. It's been in grading since February. It's been at PSA since May. It's a May bulk sub. And it's got a Crystal Zard, a Shining Mewtwo, um, all kinds of Charizards, man. Base set Charizard, Fire Red Leaf Green Charizard, Evolution Zards. It's a Crystal Zard. It is an absolutely insane return that I'm waiting on from May that I really need to come back soon. That's going to be a crazy video. So hopefully that will show up soon in Beckett. I'm looking for an Xbox break. So I, I'm we're going to start picking up the content again soon, guys. Like I said, I was taking a little bit of a break. I appreciate the support. Join the Discord. I've still been very active in there. And I hope to see you guys in that community. And I uh, said subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later. Yeah.